Now on 11 at 11, standing up to separating families. There's been demonstrations across the country tonight about immigration policy. Protesters are speaking out against the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, which separates families illegally entering at the border. Things continue to get worse and worse and worse for immigrants. Right here in the tri-state, hundreds of protesters gathered on the Roebling Suspension Bridge to share their outrage. You're looking at an exclusive view of that demonstration from Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. Nine on your sides, Ashley Zilka spent the night speaking to folks at that protest. And Ashley, what were some of the big takeaways? Tanya, people from both sides of the river united on the Roebling Bridge for a powerful protest. Organizers tell me it's not about politics, it's about humanity. We're not animals, don't treat us like animals. Mary Cruz Cabral and her daughter stood on the Roebling Bridge for hours. Cabral is a dreamer. She came to the United States from Mexico. We don't come here to hurt anybody. We just come here to work. No hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here. No. Cincinnati joined protests across the country to call attention to children being separated from their parents at the southern border. I know my kids are very upset when they don't know where I'm at for 10 minutes, let alone for days on end, weeks, months. This is not what we as a country want to be. To use this as a terrorist tactic is just out of control. Under the new policy, children are now being placed in these immigration shelters. Just breaks my heart. I cry. I just, it's like. I physically cry. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, you put that in front of me, I lose it. Somebody's got to end it. I will give my life to end it. I feel that strongly about it. I am so mad. The White House calling it a zero tolerance policy. We don't know where these people are coming from. The point of the United States is to be the beacon of light, of hope. Um, we should have a little more empathy. I know we're breaking the law. I know that it might be wrong that we would come here, but just don't separate our families. Our kids need their moms. And organizers say this has to go beyond protests like the one you saw here on the bridge today. They are encouraging people to volunteer or donate to organizations that help immigrant families and their children. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.